Prior to about 15 years ago, uh, I, was a, an e I was an evangelical atheist. Um, and uh, my wife and I, late, my late first wife, um, and then one day she, she was listening on the radio to NPR and uh, it was an interview with Francis Collins, who now is known as, as Dr. Fauci's boss, uh, but uh, uh, he had written a book uh, called The uh, Language of God. Uh, and it was about, uh, he, he was the leader of the, of the effort to, um, to map the human genome back in the early part of the, this millennium, 20, 20 some years ago. Um, and it was a book about that race, the mapping of the human genome, but also about his own uh, um, conversion from being, an, in fact, an atheist to being a devout, uh, even uh, becoming a devout evangelical Christian. Uh, and he's a very humble guy. Uh, and so in telling, writing his book, telling the story, he quoted extensively from C.S. Lewis, who, uh, another fellow who went from atheism to, uh, uh, to belief in, uh, in Christ. Um, and uh, my, my wife was so impressed with this interview, we said, let's, 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 you know, let's buy the book, let's read it. And, um, and then we're reading these quotes from this C.S. Lewis guy. And we say, wow, this is Lewis, is, he, he's pretty sharp. Uh, and so we, we bought a good chunk of what C.S. Lewis had ever written and read that. And we said, oh, wow, this is, this is really something. And uh, Lewis, of course, credits George MacDonald as being his master, his master in the sense of his teacher, um, and one of the most Christ-like men uh, that he uh, uh, had ever uh, encountered, although uh, 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 MacDonald uh, lived in, you know, he was born in 1824, died in 1905, uh, so uh, well before uh, Lewis's time. Uh, but he was the single greatest influence on C.S. Lewis. And we thought, okay, this MacDonald guy, we better check him out. And we bought everything that George MacDonald ever wrote. And his 50 volumes showed up one day in a big box. And um, so the combination of Lewis and MacDonald, they were, you, you could say, the midwives of my rebirth from above. And um, Lewis, to some extent, was the brains. Represent of, uh, and MacDonald, while he's no lightweight intellectually, uh, rigorous intellectually, but his was the heart of, of, uh, of, of uh, my, uh, and my, my late wife's uh, conversion. Um, and uh, that was uh, about 15 years ago and never, never looked back.